Charles Entertainment Cheese. The mysterious mouse-like character has been shrouded in mystery since he first appeared unannounced inside children's arcades in 1977. But who is Charles Entertainment, or Chuck E, as his corporate overseers refer to him? And what are his motives? To what extent does he still maintain autonomy? We dive into these questions during our first short biographical documentary in a series on the most influential figures during the Reagan administration. As a part of assembling research on Mr. Cheese, we interviewed several prominent historians. For a few of these interviews, they actually remained on the call after we brought up Chuck E. Cheese. As far as we can tell from the literature, Charles was brought up in an orphanage where in fact no one knew his birthday. My interpretation of the text is that Cheese does not have a birthday, but like us mortals do. <laughs> No, no, no. Chuck E. Cheese is eternal. Always has been, and always will be. Interesting. So you don't think they were just saying that nobody was sure what day his birthday was on? But In an inspired and surprising turn of events, the orphan Cheese actually became somewhat of a fraternity star, mastering the game of beer pong, and rising through the ranks until he could afford a ticket to New York, where he then became homeless. We find this story too ridiculous and dismal to possibly be fabricated. Dude, Chucky, oh my god, that dude was a monster on the table. Shots left and right. He did have a bit of a coke problem. Eventually, Cheese was forced to sing to a crowd by the owner of the pizza parlor where he was illegally lodging. Unfortunately, he literally only knew the Happy Birthday song, and so decided to sing this to a random nine-year-old boy. We thought, this must be traumatic for an orphaned rat who doesn't know when his own birthday is, but he looks fairly happy in the corporate marketing materials, so, eh. After this performance, the official sources on Cheese's life run dry, so we've had to piece together forgotten scraps of history to recount his later years. This is the untold story of Charles E. Cheese. Disillusioned by the system which had only served to impoverish Cheese, he began to read Marxist theory and soon departed the US to lend his support to the conflicts in Central America. Seen here in a f Thank you for watching Charles Entertainment Cheese, the mascot we deserve. Please purchase the full title in order to continue watching subsequent episodes, including Chapter 3, The Poker Years. Chapter 4, Economic Advisor to President Reagan. And Chapter 5, Where Is He Now? Like, actually, we can't find him. Why would I pay money for that? How did this get on my computer?